Hey guys, Rocket Blade here, once again. What's up everybody, welcome to my spoiler free movie review of Maw. But Maw! <laughs> Living color reference. <laughs> I'm old, I'm old. But anyway, what's up guys? Um, So Maw is a new uh, psychological like horror movie that, that from Blumhouse Productions, produced by Jason Blumhouse, and it, it looks like to be a pretty damn good movie. It's not the greatest is not revolutionary like a Evil Dead or Halloween or Friday the 13th or Friday the 13th or, or Nightmare on Elm Street, but it's a damn good horror movie. I, I walked out having a good time with it. Um, so it's based on this lady, he's a trailer who these kids like, hey, can you buy his beer? Because obviously they're under age and they can't buy it. At first she was kind of like hesitant, but he's like, oh, what, you know, what the hell? It's not really spoilers because, you know, the trailer shows us. She buys him beer and then basically gives him a place to like hang out and drink beer. At, at her place, and um, and eventually, as the movie goes on, as the, as the movie goes on, she's not all well upstairs and does some very questionable to in like insane things like oh no, like that level, of, like oh my god, and she, the actress who who played Ma did a fantastic job. I mean, she carries this movie. She is nice one minute, yet creepy the next. I mean, she did a great job. It had me on edge, like, what the hell is she going to do? Like, she's that cre level of creepy, and she did a good job in this movie. Really good job. And and also, it, um, it also shows her, it cuts to her past um, a bit in the, in the movie, and um, I won't spoil what they show, but it goes into why why she acts the way she, why she behaves the way she does. And honestly, it's quite tragic when you see it. Like, again, I won't spoil what happened, but it's like, man, you, you understand. I mean, you, you don't justify her actions. Of course, what she's doing is really, really wrong. But it's one of the things you understand. You, you get He's like, damn, that sucks. And, and also, it plays into, like, I know it doesn't go into political territory, but I, I think the message, at least I got from it, is that Instead of blaming, I know we have a, I know I'm going off track here a little bit, but I think this, this kind of ties into, at least that's the interpretation I got from the movie. Instead of blaming the current mass shootings on, you know, comics, uh, music, movies, or video games, which that's the fun new target, to, um, to like blame, um, I think the main thing that we should focus on uh, is mental health. Because it really shows how when you bully or do terrible things to a person, some of the stuff they did to this, to this girl, when you see the movie, you're like, oh my god, um, and when they're in the flashback sequences, it, stuff like that has, you know, m you know, psych psychological consequences that we fail to realize, and, and we gotta teach our kids not to be crappy, I know there's, you know, kids are gonna be crappy no matter what, but we gotta teach our kids not to be crappy and to be better parents to take care of our kids better. Because otherwise, people like uh, like that are all gonna keep. All, it's only gonna. Ha it's only gonna keep. Because like, so the stuff that's keeps happening with the match rooms, it's only gonna get worse. So instead of blaming other other things like you know mainly, for example, like I mentioned for video games, we should look into the mental health issue. Because that, I mean, in my opinion, that is something we should seriously look into. Because that's a message that we at least we're saying to me. Because otherwise, these things that are apparently happening will continue to happen. But, um... But, yeah, I'm not spoiling anything that happens in the movie. This is, at least that's the message I got from it. All the young actors that, that were in the movie did, did their part. Did a fine job. Did a fine, fine job. And I definitely see them have a future in the Hollywood biz. And, um, like, also, I think Luke Evans, I believe, is one of the actors there as well. He did a good job. Everyone, the blonde actress that was there as well. I forget her name. Um, she was in Soul Plane. If you, if you guys remember that movie. I know it was garbage. I remember seeing bits and pieces. I'm like, yeesh. Let's see what is getting movie bombed. But she was in the movie too. She did a good job. Everyone that was in there, everyone in the movie was, rec some recognizable actors I remember, I recognize, but I don't know the name off offhand, but also they're all recognizable actors. And all did a good job. Um, The main, the main girl, the young girl did a good job. And Ma, who's the main antagonist, you know, uh, of the movie, also did a fantastic job. Really is what carries this movie. She does a, it's a fantastic job. On the, on the edge of your seat, and some of these um, kills, which you, you know, which it does show, is like pretty, 
just downright brutal. Especially, um, one which was kind of effed up, but also unintentionally funny at the same time. Because it's, it's not the kill itself, it's what you did after the kill that made Celeste. I'm like, oh my god. He can't help but laugh. There's that awkward laugh, like, ha ha ha. Oh god, this is getting worse. It's one of that awkward laughter, like, oh god. This is getting worse. Oh, jeez. So then during the third act, when it falls apart, whoo. <laughs> Yikes. And, um, there's also another cautionary tale of, like, uh, don't hang out with strangers, or don't hang out with people you don't know, because, yeah, I mean, I know it should be, like, a common sense, like, yeah, Rocket Blade, no duh, but, you know, just, <laughs> there's another, like, obvious message that we was hanging up besides the whole mental thing, of, like, don't hang out with strangers! So hang up you don't know because they might you know <laughs> you you know <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah overall it's a it's a good time it was a good movie it was it was scary surprisingly funny and in in, in, in in dark in a dark way if that makes any sense and it was a good it was a good time it was nothing said nothing great but it was a good good time man Blumhouse is knocking it out of the park and really you know bringing back the horror genre. Because the first time a horror movie comes out, people are like, ugh, it's going to be crappy. Which, nine times out of ten, nine, time, nine times out of ten, and unfortunately there were the horror movies. But now, thanks to Blumhouse, it's slowly, horror movies are making a good comeback. And, excuse me, and Moss definitely being one of those movies that's helping out, help, you know, it's, it's helping that case of, like, you know, don't give up on this genre. There's still a lot of great stories to tell. And, well, in other case, a good story, which is a damn good one, and, Fun for start for start for finish. The worst the only thing bad I could say it had some slow parts here and there. Okay, it's kinda of dragging a bit. Some slow parts, but for the most part it was a from start to finish, it was a good time. Easy to follow plot. Um when it goes to the flashbacks, really sad. You feel bad for the intent the main character, even though like again before like I mentioned before, what she's doing is wrong, but you understand why she's doing it. You understand why she's doing the stuff that she's doing. But still, it's a good movie. Uh, good time. If you ever like, if you want to go to like a matinee showing, like a Tuesday showing, and you want, like, you know, like go look for like a, a good five dollar movie, you want to go um, see it. Go. I cannot recommend it enough. It's a good, good movie. Cannot recommend Ma. It's a damn, it's a scary but surprisingly funny good time. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Those are Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again soon. Peace out and have a great day.